Hello everyone and welcome back to Beekeepers. In today's episode we will be getting the Lunar Locker and getting 4 new Mythic Bees. Let's get into the video. So I'm actually gonna use all of my Mythic Jellies to get all the Mythic Bees because I kinda need certain bees. The first bee I need is the Crystal Bee so I've already got one finish right here and it's a Frost Bee. I mean it's still a myth Mystical so I think I'm gonna keep it it and then i'm gonna release this fruity and then start breeding another one yeah with the dreamy we should be okay uh mythic jelly breed 20 minutes i also need to not forget to give the blue eyes treats so it's guaranteed blue because like i said i need a crystal bee so as you can see here i have 400 million honey level 51 so I actually spent a really long time grinding for all of this. Had to do a lot of baker quests. 142 to be exact right here. To buy a lot of infused roll jelly. It's 50 bakers, baker tokens each and I bought 30. 25 for the backpack and 5 for a collector that I'm gonna buy. Also another thing I need for the backpack is 20 blue eyes treats. So getting them was pretty easy. I just had to farm a bit in the field and then I just baked them in this oven right here. And the last and probably hardest thing to get was the moonlight candy. The moonlight candy took me probably most of the time just spending all the time in the forest field because you actually need 200 candies for the moonlight candy and then you of course need some of the tokens of the lunar tokens these tokens right here lunar fragments so they're actually pretty easy to get just do some quests of the lunar moonfly and stuff but for the 200 candies you need 200 green apples and 200 red apples which actually took me a really long time to collect that's the longest that probably took me to collect so yeah without further ado i think it's time to buy the lunar locker uh, a moon shaped bag with infused with the moon's dust grants buffs during the night and stores insane amounts of nectar 4.25 million to be exact so let's buy it trash grade but i'll still take it because it's a freaking moon look at all my back it looks so cool it's like glowing and stuff and oh my god i got so much space with the multipliers lunar locker an item you have equipped it gives five percent insta conversion 2.75 times conversion amount 2 critical chance, 2 times conversion speed, and 1.3 times nectar at night. That is a lot better than, the, um, than that orange backpack I used. I mean, if we compare it, here's the comparison. The conversion amount is bigger on the citrus storage, uh, but the conversion speed is the same, and the in instant conversion is a bit smaller, but... This thing of course holds a lot more and gives buffs at night. So yeah, the item I was actually talking about is this magical staff right here. It costs 75 million honey. I have all the items needed. It's not that expensive, but it's gonna be a big increase from the Pirate's Cutlass. I just need 75 million. So my second bee is final ready and I really hope it's a crystal one. Let's open it. Yes, Crystal, a magical bee made from pure sapphire. It's azure and obfuscated. What does obfuscated do? Wait, let me look. Obfuscated, instant conversion from tools. That's actually gonna be pretty good. If I, of course, if I get enough of them. But it has two abilities: Crystal Crash and Crystal Conversion. Uh, the crystal crash it drops five crystals crashing into the field and collecting uh, 125 nectar from five flowers each as well as converting 50% of the nectar collected 50% wow that's a lot also the crystal conversion grants two times conversion amount these are these both abilities are pretty op i'm really happy i got the b but next up i'm gonna remove the grumpy b 
and I'll use the mythical jelly once again and this time I'll breed it with a wonder it is because I want another lunar lunar bee yeah I want another lunar bee oh here it is here's the token it's gonna work for 45 seconds great here's the token let's see oh so it makes that sound and it just drops uh, those crystals, those sapphires, and it just collects a whole lot of honey. Alright, let's see what my third mystical is, and it's a lunar bee. Yes, that's the one I, will, I wanted, the bee from the moon, yeah. That's gonna be so good for nights, but I have one more jelly. I'm gonna remove this leopard bee, and I'm actually gonna breed it with a red bee. I want one red bee, just just one. Um, well, I'm also gonna guarantee it. Okay, so finally my last mythic bee has hatched, and it's a stellar bee, a bee made of a hundred burning stars. Also, the stellar bee has a thing called sun rays, grants a base of five percent instant conversion, instant conversion plus. 1% nectar value and 3% more instant conversion per stack. Okay, a bee made of a hundred burning stars. It's gleaming and ruby. The gleaming might be pretty good, but the ruby isn't really all that good because I'm a blue night high, but I'm trying to get some red bees, especially mysticals. So I actually grinded a lot and now I have enough to buy the magical staff 75 million because it's gonna be so much better than the Pirate's Cutlass. And so, yeah, let's buy it. Alrighty. Now I have the Magical Staff equipped. 5 instant conversion and 1.1 nectar. That is actually really good. So it collects... Oh my god, that's really fast. Compared to my last tool, that's a lot better. So yeah, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!